people ask me, what does a fresh water chestnut taste mm -hmm. like? It's really sweet <clears throat> and crunchy. And once you've tasted it fresh, you will never eat canned again. And then I'm just going to cut this into like small dice. And for the shiitake mushrooms, I'm just going to remove the stems. So here's the diced chicken. Cornstarch uh, tenderizes the chicken. And then this is just a little soy sauce. OK, so we're ready to stir fry. When you stir fry, you must preheat the wok if you don't preheat the wok first, your food is bound to stick. And I test the temperature of the wok by flicking a drop of water, and the moment the water evaporates immediately, you're ready to go. Take one tablespoon of oil. This is peanut oil. You always want to use an oil with a high smoking point. You could also use grapeseed, avocado oil, rice bran, but never olive oil or sesame oil. And then make sure you swirl the oil around the pan so it's nicely coated. And now we're adding all of our vegetables. And hear that sizzle. It doesn't need to be loud. But that tells you that your wok is correctly preheated. And so that's about done. Just going to pour it onto this plate. Add another tablespoon of oil. You don't even have to wash the wok. And now I add my chicken. And then we resist stir frying for about one minute. And the reason is you want to have, you want to give the chicken a chance to begin to sear. And you see there's no sticking. And now we can add the rest of the vegetables. And finally, a little hoisin sauce. So the key to Chinese cooking for stir fries is you want to start with super fresh ingredients. And the quick cooking and high heat just intensifies the natural flavors and textures of your ingredients. And there you have it. It must have that, well, what is it? Um, Guo xiang, it must have hot fragrance. And finally, we have some roasted cashews that we sprinkle on top and some scallions, just a little bit. And that is the chicken with bean sauce. Isn't that beautiful?